fortune to be made here. It's just a town like any other town. Surfers owe. Surfers are as blessed as anybody on the planet in terms of the things they get to see, the things they get to do. Surfing is probably the most natural sport, but we're using these really bad materials, you know. There are a lot of kids that come in and they look immediately to see, okay, either what's the organic content or where's, what proceeds are going somewhere to the environment. Personally, I blame the big companies within surfing for making things so blown up that they attracted the outsiders. They complain about it, but they asked for it. We all asked for it. We as an industry create a lot of trash. We use a lot of very toxic chemicals when there are alternatives, and it doesn't seem like as an industry we're trying very hard. From the industry, industry standpoint, it's been going downhill for a long, long time. This is something I, I don't want to really get into. But I would say, Danny Hess wasn't making boards 10, 10 years ago. Grain surfboards wasn't doing that. That whole DIY movement, bending towards uh, the environmental side, is a brilliant illustration of the culture shift that's happening. It's a magical experience to create the surfboard or you know, the plank of wood that you're riding. That's, that's something I think everybody should experience. Our goal is to empower the action sports industry to be sustainability leaders. There's nothing more punk rock than being sustainable. Oh, I love surfing. It's I really do. I, I have surf dreams all the time. They're not dreams about riding a horse or chasing a donkey, you know. They're, they're dreams about surfing. Time.